Welcome to KUAM News Extra. I'm John Davis, in for Sonia Hartero, who has the evening off. In an effort to recognize the efforts of those on Guam who are doing their part to put an end to homelessness, we're continuing our series of interviews to commemorate Homeless Awareness Outreach Week. Tonight's interview will feature the work of the Salvation Army's Lighthouse Recovery Center, along with the Catholic Social Services. Greg Borja is the clinical supervisor for the Lighthouse Recovery Center, and Cyrilla Rapatis is the executive director for the Catholic Social Services. Cyrilla, could you start off by telling us about Catholic Social Services? Okay, thank you, John, for taking us in. By the way, you, you don't look like Sonia at all. Oh, thanks. <laughs> okay, <laughs> anyway, Catholic, the homeless uh, uh, problem in Guam started out in the late 80s, 89, 88. And then in uh, 1990, the legislature put forth a law uh, that created the homeless program. So that was a good thing on their part. They were looking ahead and knowing that there'll probably be more homeless uh, people on the island. So in uh, 1990, uh, they put out a bid, a proposal for, um, to, to carry out the homeless program. So Catholic Social Service came by and uh, put in a bid for it and we were able to get the program. So our program is called the Emergency Homeless Shelter. Mm -hmm. And uh, what it is is that there's, uh, two, we have two homes and uh, uh, we have to have about 15 slots. And the slots, you know, come out to about 40 th 45 to 50 people because uh, when they come to the homeless shelters, they don't come by themselves. Mm -hmm. they, it's usually uh, a family. So you have a family of three, you have a family of five. And at one point in time, we were even sheltering families of eight and 10. So uh, the homelessness uh, uh, problem in Guam has uh, really um, doubled or tripled, so to speak, within the last uh, few years. And I think in order to, be come, to come to that stage where in your homeless situation, you've already gone through a lot of traumatic experience, so, such as, you know, maybe a, 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 a sick an illness in the family and the, uh, the uh, monies that the family have is already depleted. You have a, uh, a situation where the person has lost a job, and so the, in, because of that, they lost their home and uh, they, they don't have any food in the house. So uh, by the time they get to us, they've already got to have a multiple social problems. Oh, okay. And that's the, what, what we try to help them with, plus okay. the shelter. Oh, okay, thank you. And what are some of the respective services that your company or the Catholic Social Services is doing to end homelessness on Guam? What are some of the services that you provide? Well, one of the things that we're doing with the, the present emergency homeless uh, clients that we have is that to, to provide case management. So we, we talk to them, we, we find out what the other problems are. They have, if they have children in school, we, we bring the children to, to their classrooms so mm -hmm. they don't get interrupted. Uh, we bring them to public health to uh, apply for food stamps and uh, other welfare benefits that public uh, service, ha I mean, public health has. So that uh, as much as, as possible, we try to help them. But you know, when you get to that situation when you're homeless, it takes a lot of things to order in order to bring you out to, to out of the homeless situation. So, but we try our best to do what we can for them. Okay, don't go away as we expound on our interview about the homelessness on Guam after this timeout. 